Now, as you know, when it comes to COVID, we follow the science on this program. Uh, but, of course, the Queensland government follows the political science. Remember, the Queensland Premier, Queen Palaszczuk, this is what she said just yesterday about the federal government when, of course, the federal government called her out about the BS, about whether you have to get the normal swizzle stick for the COVID test or you have to pay 150 bucks per person for one before you can fly back into the state. I don't want Queenslanders to have COVID for Christmas. But do you I honestly don't. believe the federal government wants to give Queenslanders COVID for Christmas? Well, why, you have to ask them why they wanted to scrap the tests. Well, that was yesterday, and the only science they follow in Queensland is the political science, especially polls, and it feels like Queen Anna got a bad poll because this was exactly what she said today, which, unsurprisingly, is exactly the opposite of what she said yesterday. I look forward to working cooperatively with the federal government. Uh, we've got a national cabinet meeting coming up soon, and I think everyone needs to work together. Do you hear that? Premier, they're laughing at you in Bathurst, all right? <laughs> they're laughing at you in Bathurst right now. Now, when asked about all of that today, she tried to play the lefty Jedi mind trick. This is not the truth you're looking for. But guess what? We saw the tape. Yesterday, she said the federal government wants to bring COVID to Christmas, COVID to Queensland for Christmas. Today, I want to work for the government. And this is what she said when she's explaining how she was just caught. Yeah, I addressed all that yesterday. Uh, we addressed that yesterday at length. Look, we have addressed all of that yesterday, OK? Yeah, we saw. We ran a tape on it. We played it on the show and people saw it on TV. You know what it's about. It's about the political science. It's about trying to get a result of the federal election. Now, also, good news for in Western Australia that they are going to hit most likely 90% when it comes to the vaccination rate, and the Emperor McGowan, well, he might actually have to remember he's part of Australia. But apparently here, uh, they're going to hit 80% December the 12th, 20%, uh, the, uh, uh, sorry, G uh, January the 20th for 90%. Now, <laughs> the COVID commander has said, well, that clearly means borders are going to open in January, right? Well, does that surprise you that the Premier actually said no? This is what the Emperor had to say in response to his state hitting in January 90%. There'll be more vaccinated than any country in the world. I think he clarified. Uh, I understand he had some questions and he clarified uh, it'll be late January or early February and uh, that's the government's position. What? You're going to hit 90%, pal. I know you don't want to and I know that there's some people that are sort of, you know, holding their mask under the doona sucking on their thumb, afraid that the Rona's going to be coming. But sorry, you're part of Australia, whether you like it or not, pal. And I know you're trying to delay it as long as possible, just like the Queen, just like the rest. But normal people have got great bullshit detectors and they are spinning out of control when it comes to some of these state premiers.